Uh, my name is Leonard Madden. I am a composer. I've been writing the score for The Scarlet Sapphire. Um, I've been uh, writing music for a very long time, about 21 years now, and I was uh, brought onto this project uh, in about December 2014. Well, I was, I was personally really excited. Um, my aesthetic has very much been, uh, throughout my sort of various projects, has always been, um, I guess, into the, the darker side. So I love things like science fiction and thrillers and horror movies and everything. So the opportunity to write for something that had a lot of tension in it was a really exciting prospect for, for me personally. Um, it's given me a lot of sort of room to explore, you know, many sorts of facets of music through combining orchestral instrumental techniques, with uh, sort of electronics and noise, sort of percussive effects, drone effects, all kinds of things. So for me, working on a film like this was absolutely perfect. Well, I think the first thing I thought about was the production values, which looked extremely good. I mean, this film looks as good as anything you'll really see anywhere. Um, in terms of the subject matter, again, it's very exciting. Um, yeah, pretty much everything about it appealed to me and I sort of for me, when I want to sit down and write something musical, I always have a visual idea in my head. So I know that if I sit down and watch something and straight away I'm getting those musical ideas that we're onto something good. Well, to me, as I interpreted it when I, when I first saw it, um, it was kind of a combination of things. Obviously, there's the tense sort of thriller action, but I guess the nature of it being in a bar kind of almost sung out a jazzy, dark, noir kind of vibe as well. Um, but kind of a contemporary version of that. I didn't see it as being, you know, totally that sort of black and white back alley sort of thing. Um, but I, you know, I definitely saw those sort of elements um, at play in there. Um, obviously it was combined with a lot of other things as well. As I said, it has that contemporary vibe. Um, but of course, uh, there's you know, quite a lot of sort of thriller conventions to it as well. Um, and it, like I said, I mean, that's perfect for me. Coming in to write, it made it very easy for me. Definitely throughout the different sections I'm exploring, um, as, the, as the film is obviously changing and evolving, I'm exploring different compositional techniques as well to, to uh, I guess, help to tell the story. So it's, it's very much a combination of uh, originally what I'd done is actually made it a lot more jazzy and there, were, there was sort of a backbeat and a lot of sax and muted trumpet and everything. Um, but as that's gone along I've sort of muted that down a lot and it's now much more of an impression than it is sort of a, um, an outright jazz uh, feel as it originally was. So definitely what I've tried to do is merge that sort of influence um, with obviously a much more orchestral element as you traditionally have in, in films obviously as well bringing in a lot of that kind of Hollywood percussion as the, as the, as the film progresses. Um, and it's also given me the opportunity to also integrate a lot of electronic elements into it, which is primarily what I've been uh, writing for the last um, 18 years or so. Well, the first thing to do is really to watch the movie and break it down. And I think with this film, it was good because it was quite easy for me to isolate the various sections that were, that were making the film up. And also, uh, it had quite a strong direction in terms of a build of momentum and tension as it went on. So that was the first stage of the analysis. Then, of course, I would import the film into my software, which is uh, Logic Pro. Uh, from there, it's easy to sort of sketch out things in terms of where the scenes fall and where the cuts are and everything. And, and sort of work out what's going to be in each section. Uh, then it's all about tempo mapping and matching these tempos to what's happening uh, with the, the actual tempo of the film. And then really, once it comes down to the point of trying to add some sounds into it, uh, really the first couple of hours work on it's the most difficult part. Uh, when you tr you're bringing in those first instruments and trying to work out, you know, you've got this idea and how that's going to blend with the next idea and the next idea. Uh, that for me is always the toughest part. Uh, but where I am, well, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm different to everybody else or not, but I, I tend to work in much more of a linear fashion. I like to start at the beginning and, and work through to the end. It's always been the way I, I've done things. Um, and I find if I was to try and jump forward into the middle and write something, you know, I really need what comes before it to, uh, to figure out what's going on later on. So really for me, it's a process of starting in a place and almost creating a, a total blend 
from where we're starting to where we're going. And that's exactly the, the same way that I've, I've worked for years um, in my, my work as a, a dance music producer when I'm writing techno. I mean, the entire philosophy of that is to take an idea that then builds up and this happens over the space of, you know, a few minutes and it's an idea that comes from minimalism and it's something which I bring to whatever it is I work on. Um, yeah, well, you know, obviously as a, as a classical composer, Wagner is one of my major influences in writing music, so I'm definitely keen on the idea of the light motif, which essentially means that um, a character or an object or even, a, you know, an idea can actually have a theme which accompanies it. And fortunately, in the way that we work today with digital technology, it's actually very easy to do this sort of thing and capture an idea. So, for example, um, I might have created something that's a jazz idea with saxophone and then you can echo that at various points through the piece to remind you of things that have come before and in doing that you can transform it along the way and, and that's what's great about working with technology now it's very easy for us to you know duplicate things reverse them repitch them stretch them all kinds of things so for me it's yeah working thematically is extremely important Uh, it's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, when you work with someone that's in a different media to you, um, it, it can often be very difficult. And um, I find with, with music, with various projects I've worked on before, sometimes the communication of an idea is the, the most difficult thing to overcome. Um, but with Luke, he seems to have a, obviously a good understanding of film, but also has a good understanding of music and, and how that all fits in with the film and, and indeed how it operates on its own. So it's been very easy to sit down and for both of us to actually have a discussion about the music um, rather than someone uh, sort of dictating to me, I guess. We've, we've actually been able to sort of reach it in a middle point and actually come to some, some joint decisions on it, which has been great for me. Working with a film that has all kinds of speech and sound effects and everything in there does present obviously a different challenge to that other kind of uh, to that other kind of film work, so really, what you sort of become aware of is uh, things which are moving together. So, if you had a piece in the music that was moving at the same time as some other sound effects, uh, you kind of really need to sort of smooth everything out. Um, definitely, as well, you have to look at pitches as well. So, you might have some other effects that are coming through that end up clashing with what you're doing. So, really, for me, I mean, um, when I started writing the music, I laid it out, you know, on a on a blank slate. Um, and I, I was, you know, very free to write whatever I want, but it's actually for me was helpful when all the other effects went in there because it's, it was a lot easier, the music was already there and it was basically just a matter of smoothing everything out, removing or repitching anything that was in the wrong place. Um, and it sort of really helps to bring it together into a, a total piece of artwork. The logistical achievements of it, um, Obviously, when I, I've worked with electronic music for a long time, it's pretty easy to sit down there and sort of throw a whole bunch of ideas in there and churn them around and sort of come out with something that you like at the end of it. Uh, when you're working with film, all of a sudden, you know, um, obviously, since we don't have the ability to hire an orchestra, I'm in there um, trying to recreate sort of acoustic instruments and orchestral sounds with nothing but technology and sample libraries and everything. So that, for me, has been the biggest the biggest hurdle to overcome is to make it actually sound like it's real and to make it sound like it belongs all together and as it actually indeed even marries in with the rest of the film. Um, I guess the rest of it, obviously being a short film, it makes it a bit easier that there's not hours of music to compose, but I think in a way that almost makes it more challenging because you've really, you've got no wasted space. You've got a kind of, every, every note that you put down is, needs to be valuable and needs to actually belong to the film. Um, I think definitely working with a supportive team has been really good and actually feeling like I'm actually part of the project rather than an add-on idea. Um, that's been absolutely fantastic. And even more than that, I guess, I mean, I always, when I write music, I always see things in quite a visual way. There's always an idea in my mind or, a, you know, a colour or a shape or some sort of space or something, you know, some sort of visual idea. And being able to sit down with a film and, and really sort of become part of the film and, and work all those sounds and weave them into the different sort of textures of the film, I guess, um, and working towards creating this single, you know, this single work for me has been 
been awesome. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see the film. Um, I think there's going to be, you know, really something going on here, and I think it's going to be something that will it'll look great. I, I mean, I think it'll speak to people as well. I, I hope people will enjoy it and, you know, being part of that, that process and I think definitely being, you know, the composer for the film, I mean, you really, you really sort of convey the emotional journey, journey in the film and that for me is a fantastic role to play in any project and um, I think, yeah, I think it's an exciting thing and I can't wait to see it.